Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. So it's basically the weekend. I'm pretty excited. Um, so we are in front of Walmart to do our second I bought a haul for this week. We're only going to go to Walmart today. We're not going to go to Sprouts. I'm sorry, girl. We're not going to go to Sprouts today. Um, we'll probably do it next week, but I definitely need to go home so that I can uh, do some homework. I did start the new summer semester and I don't want to start it off with a bad foot. So I want to go ahead and get a whole bunch of assignments done. They're all, these are all online, so they're not, um, hybrid classes so it's really at your own pace obviously you have due dates so i want to try to get as many done as humanly possible before the due dates so that way i have more time to focus on doing the couponing videos but we are going to try to go next week so today we're only doing walmart we did get a weekend warrior bonus and i'm working with my husband's account since i did my account yesterday um, it is three dollars back for I believe 15 offers and then we also got a choice rewards bonus for five or three dollars back for 15 offers so basically we're doing about 15 offers today I'm pretty excited about it because we have I think one or two freebies that we're definitely going to pick up as long as they have the stock for it. Um, so I'm definitely having a day. I definitely was dreaming about couponing. Um, so I went to sleep last night a little bit earlier than I normally do. I was just super tired. I was rearranging my stockpile. I'm trying to figure out where I should put things. Like I've been putting things in our closet trying to stack everything up so it's flush against the uh, the wall so it's not in the way. Um, but yeah, so I was knocked out last night and then this morning, I was like in and out of sleeping. Normally I wake up when my kids come and wake me up and I didn't even like wake up. Um, my husband is obviously there. So I say that with the fact that my husband was there. Um, so he apparently he got them up my youngest woke up at like 5 30 in the morning he got her he took her back to bed then she woke up again like an hour later then they waited for my oldest to wake up and then uh they all went to go watch tv in the kids room and then my husband got them dressed took them to school and then stopped at mcdonald's and got me sweet tea and hash browns all before eight o'clock in the morning and I woke up and I was so disoriented. I was like, I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I forgot to go to CVS. And he was like, what are you talking about? I was like, what's today? He's like, today is Friday. I was like, oh my God, I thought today was Sunday. Cause normally you guys know on Saturday I go to CVS to print out my um, CRTs that I didn't print out or use during the week. Oh my God, I freaked out. I literally like jumped out of bed and I was like, oh my God, I didn't go to CVS. He was like, babe, calm down. And I was like, where are our children? And he was like, I took them to school. And I was like, what freaking time is it? And he's like, oh, it's like 8, 10, 8, 15 or whatever. And I was like, oh my God. Like I just, I was so disoriented this morning. Like I felt like it was a completely different day. I didn't know what was happening. I was so confused. I forgot my kids. Um, they have show and tell every Friday and they have like a set uh, letters that they follow for that day and I totally forgot um, to bring her a show and tell so I had to run to the store and go grab her one. Oh my god I was just having such a, a moment this morning but um, I feel a lot better and hopefully we can keep up this momentum get in the store get in and out go home put some more stuff away hopefully put some more clothes away I've been trying to donate a lot of clothes as well especially for my kids. Um, once they start growing out of their shoes, they go through their shoes, give away some shoes and stuff like that. So um, today's going to be a productive day. Keep in mind, today is Friday, so I don't do a video on Saturday and Sunday. So on Sunday, we'll typically get new printable coupons. So make sure you check coupons.com. It's a free website you can go to to print out free printable coupons. So if you're a person like me that limits how many inserts you buy, I get mine from the dollar store and I usually only buy the P&G inserts which come out once a month. If I get inserts in between, it's very few and far between that I will actually go and buy inserts in between the P&Gs or somebody will give them to me. Um, so I get them for free. But if you're a person that doesn't buy my inserts definitely go to coupons.com you can get free printable coupons and also make sure that you send to card or print out any unused crts from cvs by saturday if you don't then they will disappear because if they expire saturday and you don't print them out that it will reset the expiration date if you print them out on saturday but if you don't then they'll just expire and go away um so this intro is already super super long so let's go ahead and run the store so I was walking through the clearance aisle just to get to the other side of the store and I saw these Glucerna mini treats on clearance for $2. 
Um, I think if you sign up for their website still, you can get $3 printable coupons. I don't have any in my bag right now, but I think I'm going to go ahead and come back for these just on a different day on my own time. But these are the oatmeal raisin kinds. I think my grandmother would eat these, but if you can get that $3 printable, it will make these free in a $1 moneymaker. So Miss Amy gave me a pronunciation for this. I hope I'm still pronouncing it right. Chlorolin. Um, so we're going to pick up this cleaner for $2.47. We're going to submit to Ibotta for a dollar, making it just $1.47. If you haven't gotten the bonus set, if you purchase two, you will get a bonus back. Ibotta is giving us a nice little freebie. So we're going to go ahead and pick up this Yoplait 8 pack for $3.73. Submit to Ibotta for $3.98, making this a $0.25 cent money maker. This ratio yogurt's priced at $1.34. We're going to pick one up, spent to Ibotta for $0.45, cents, making our final out-of-pocket cost just $0.89. Cents. You guys know I got to go ahead and pick up my lunch meat, so we're going to pick up five of the Budding's priced at $0.58. Cents. We're going to use this dollar off four printable coupon from their website. We're going to submit to Ibotta for a dollar back when you purchase five, making our final out-of-pocket cost just $0.90 cents for five packages. Next, we're going to pick up some Belveda soft baked cookies. So I'm going to pick up the banana bread for $2.76, submit to Ibotta for a dollar back, making this box just $1.76. Next, we're going to pick up the Snyder's pretzel, the Twisted. So they're priced at $2.98. We're going to submit to Ibotta for a dollar, making this just $1.98. So I was walking by and I found these Sun Sweet prunes on clearance for $2.09. I scanned on and I bought it. We have two rebates attaching, one for $0.55 cents and one for $0.60. Cents. And because it's attaching to two separate rebates, we're going to get back a $0.50 cent bonus, making this container just $0.44. Cents. So this Chosen Foods 100% Pure Avocado Oil Spray, it's priced at $4.48. We have two rebates attaching, one for $2 and one for $1.50. So that makes our final out-of-pocket cost just $0.98. Cents. The Bolt 24 drinks, they're priced at $1.28. I'm going to purchase two. I'm going to use this dollar off of two hang tag that I found a couple weeks back. We're going to submit to our bottle for $0.50 cents back on each bottle, making our final out-of-pocket cost just $0.56 cents for two. So this has reset for me before, but the Laughing Cow Blends Cheese, it's priced at $2.98. We have a free offer on Ibotta for $2.99, making this product completely free. All right, you guys, so we are back from Walmart and this is everything that we picked up. So it turned out pretty well. I don't think that we had any issues. We literally only used two coupons. So I feel like this transaction I did was pretty newbie friendly. The main thing that you need to have is Ibotta. So if you're not already signed up with Ibotta, make sure you go ahead and do that. That was our main focus for this haul. Literally only used two coupons. One of the coupons was a hang tag and one was a printable coupon that is pretty accessible for anyone to go and print out so if you're not already signed up please make sure you go ahead and do that so we only have one receipt to go over I only needed to do one receipt I didn't split up my transaction so let's go ahead and go over it all right so here's our transaction so we picked up the prunes on clearance for 209 there's the ratio yogurt there is the laughing cow cheese there's the sausage the lunch meat that I picked up with that dollar off for printable coupon there's our Belvita. There's our bolt with the dollar of two hang tag. There's our cooking spray, our pretzels, our cleaning supplies, and then our yogurt. So we had a subtotal here of $29.77. So our total before coupons was $31.77. We literally only had the two coupons. We paid $29.77. We submitted our receipt to Ibotta and got back $18.37 in regular rebates. We also got back a $0.50 cent, uh, bonus for the Sun Suite since that attached to two separate rebates. We also completed our $3 Weekend Warrior bonus and our $3 Choice Rewards bonus. So that makes our final out-of-pocket cost for everything here $4.75.
and considering that this would have been $31 worth of two coupons and we only paid $4.75 I feel like that's pretty awesome and I was also able to get some um, dinner because we use that Jimmy Dean when my husband makes uh, biscuits and gravy so that was pretty awesome and I love getting cleaning supplies my husband really likes that banana bread the soft baked Belvedo so that's perfect for him and of course always getting lunch meat for a super great price is awesome I'm really butthurt about the twisted pretzels because I was hoping that they were just going to be like the original ones um, but I'm gonna taste them and see how they taste I'm not like too keen on like the ones that are like seasoned seasoned so I don't know if this is just gonna be like salted pretzels or if it's actually gonna have some kind of seasoning on there um, but let me know if you guys have ever tried these before I'm definitely gonna go and try them I'm about to make some sandwiches for lunch but I hope you guys have an amazing weekend make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys